How strong can giant rebar be? Let's test it with a 200-ton hydraulic press. Will the outcome be surprising? First, we take out a heavy giant spring and place it on the hydraulic press. I thought the hydraulic press would flatten the spring directly, but unexpectedly, the spring kept tightening. It easily coped with the applied pressure. When the hydraulic press releases, the spring bounces back. It seems the giant spring still has some power. So what happens when we use rebar for building roofs? First, I'll place a piece of rebar on the hydraulic press. It looks like it's easy to crush and deform the rebar. It was instantly flung away. If one doesn't work, let's try two. You can see, under the immense pressure of the hydraulic press, these two rebar can still hold on for a while, as the pressure value gets higher and higher. This pair of rebar is slowly squeezed and bent. So, if there are enough rebar, could they suppress the hydraulic press? So I took a bundle of rebar and placed it on the hydraulic press. Perhaps it was loosely secured with wire, and the hydraulic press quickly broke it apart. After this lesson, they welded four rebar rods together. Surely this can't be crushed now. It's clear the hydraulic press is struggling immensely. After a long time, it still couldn't bend the rebar. Next, they heated the rebar until it was red hot. The pressure applied by the hydraulic press causes the red hot rebar to gradually crack. It soon crushes the rebar into a pancake. What do you think could withstand the hydraulic press's squeeze? 